Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is current political situations and conditions in uh, Africa. And we have with us to uh, talk about some of the current political, social, and economic situations in Africa 2010, uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu. And Dr. Madhu, let me uh, welcome you to the show this morning. And again, to uh, remind our audience that uh, uh, you are officially our expert on uh, mm -hmm. Africa, as you have been uh, many, many years. And, and, and what we'd like to do today is to uh, talk about uh, some of the things that are currently happening in politics and social activities and in economic activities in Africa. And so let's start off by uh, having you to give us an overview and a real sense of the uh, current situation, political situation in Africa. Thank you. Yes, you know, this, this uh, 2010 has been uh, one of the quietest, you know, years in terms of uh, internal political, you know, violent, uh, actions uh, on the continent uh, most of the wars have winded down or have completely ceased mm -hmm. uh, angola is busy reconstructing you know his mm -hmm. country after 15 years of of civil war mm -hmm. between uh, the angolan government and and unita you know, after dr savimbi was killed mm -hmm. in 2002 you know uh, his group gave up fighting and brought an end to the conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, the last uh, African Nations Cup competition was held in Luanda, mm -hmm. Angola, to show that the country is recovering. Mm -hmm. You know, in Mozambique, you know, after a long strife, the country is also rebuilding. Mm -hmm. uh, has one of the fastest growing economies in Africa now, I think 5.3% uh, growth mm -hmm. in its economy, uh, pursuing the democratic, you know, uh, form of government. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Congo, a little bit of mopping up is still going on. Mm -hmm. There's still some problems, you know, internally. Mm -hmm. We still have the United Nations forces mm -hmm. in the Congo, mm -hmm. you know, trying to bring some of the steel, you know, warring factions, if mm -hmm. that's what you call them, uh, to, to, to the table. Mm -hmm. But as we know, most of those still creating the problem in the Congo are nothing but a uh, what you call bandits, really, mm -hmm. without any political ideology, just to terrorize mm -hmm. a people. Uh, of course, Liberia is at peace now. You know, after Charles Taylor went to mm -hmm. to exile in Nigeria, from where he he was sent to the Hague, mm -hmm. you know, to be tried for war crimes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sierra Leone is gradually rebuilding too. You know, after the uh, almost ten years of civil strife, mm -hmm. um, making a lot of uh, progress. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Uganda-Sudan border, you know, you, s you have what you call the Lord's Resistance Army. Mm -hmm. It's a, a group of criminals, really, mm -hmm. you know, who are busy raping and maiming and uh, mm -hmm. slaughtering people. They are opposed to the government of uh, President Museveni mm -hmm. in, in Uganda. But after half of them had, were thrown out of the country, you know, uh, driven away by the Ugandan troops, now they settled in some parts of southern Sudan mm -hmm. that's already having their oh, own problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, terrorizing people and maiming and burning and looting and raping, you know it. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know the question of southern Sudan. Mm -hmm. You know, since they signed that agreement in 2005, you know, the country, the province is kind of quiet now, mm -hmm. waiting for the referendum in, you know, next year, January 9th, mm -hmm. when they will decide if they're going to be part of of Sudan mm -hmm. or have you know their own separate government. Mm -hmm. uh, Burundi is quiet now and after years of conflict mm -hmm. with the, between the Hutus and the Tutsis. Mm -hmm. The same with Rwanda. You know it's kind of peaceful now after the genocide and efforts to reconcile and rehabilitate the country. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of some of the economies, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, some of the countries have posted uh, uh, considerable uh, gains. You know, mm -hmm. Botswana uh, is doing very well. It's a place for people to go and invest. Mm -hmm. The economy is growing at an astrom astronomical rate. Mm -hmm. And it's also a quiet and peaceful country. Mm -hmm. uh, Swaziland is quiet and peaceful. Good place to invest. You know, uh, Lesotho mm -hmm. is also quiet and peaceful. Mm -hmm. uh, Mauritius. And that good place to invest. It's mm -hmm. quiet, peaceful. Mm -hmm. Ghana, of course, mm -hmm. you know, has been doing very well uh, economically. And the Equatorial Guinea, mm -hmm. 
despite the fact that it's being ruled by a dictator, uh, is regarded by the World Bank now as the fastest growing country, mm -hmm. one of the fastest growing countries in the yeah. world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a population of 700,000 people mm -hmm. and, and oil reserves mm -hmm. as large as that of Kuwait. Mm -hmm. You know, so the, there's some prosperity mm -hmm. going on despite all the mm -hmm. negative you know, information concerning the As a matter of fact, continent. I think you might say, Dr. Madhu, as we wind down for this first commercial break, that uh, this simply represents the best report that we might get on Africa uh, over the last eight or ten years. That, that, right? uh, okay. That's correct. And of Absolutely. course, we'll continue this after our for this short uh, commercial break. Segment of the show for today, we talked.